Hello, did, Raymond. When you were taking a piss, did you sing the bodyguard out loud and then your wife yell at I've you? I've been singing you're... it the whole time. And actually, <laughs> <laughs> while, uh, while we were waiting, I, uh, I went on iTunes and bought it so we can play it at the end of the show. Perfect. I was going to request that. And then I had... I had visions of Bill like carrying one of us out of like a burning building and like us holding his cheek, and just walking him and just walking out and the song playing well, in the background. Right. We would be carrying him because again, he's Billy Badwing. He does not have a shoulder. Oh, true. True. He's lacking a shoulder and he does not have the core strength to one That's hand true. fireman carry us out of any building. Is he, I, is he dink toed? I think he's dink toed. So that probably doesn't help out matters either. What is dink toed? When your feet are like this. You never seen that? <laughs> Pointing at each other? Yeah, like in. That's like normal dink- feet are like this. No, yeah, no, it's called no, dink toe. Yeah. I didn't know that that was called dink toed when your feet face it. Yeah, know, dink toed. Like, when they face out, you're, you don't, you walk like a duck. Like me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that, yeah, the waddle. The waddle. You, you've done the waddle before. You've impersonated beautifully but yes I i've done the water before waddle. it's not a natural it's when i shit my pants and i have to clench <laughs> my ass cheeks but you you do it on the regular because yeah that's just my walk that's my strut clench because you're fat the yeah. uh bill i think has bow legs like every other old dude like every no, no, other it's dig toad it's dig every, toad every other old guy without an ass has like the kermit the frog look in okay dink toad i'm gonna have to look that up when i google it. now see and i just want you to know through the simple minds, obviously Bill and I are the dumbest out of the three. But if we, you've learned ATM from Bill. Now you learned Dink Toad from me. I mean, this is just beautiful. Well, it's another, Ooh. it's another, uh, f- you know, um, realm and and uh, firm. Uh, I don't know, uh, type of communication. It's another yeah. type way of communicating. So, yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate it. Just give you a yeah. slide slideshow of Bill in the back. Obviously, we. Uh, we don't have Bill with us tonight. This is another um, a show that we're missing Bill because of a surgery that he's having. Not missing uh, him. Well, he's in the sense here. that he's not here. Well, you, oh, I would just say he's not here. I wouldn't say we're missing him. Okay. Well, simple minds. I, I'm not missing him emotionally. We're just missing oh. him physically. Uh, gotcha. Dexterity on the show. Okay. So, uh <laughs> Sorry, smaller words. Was, thanks, Sorry. man. Bill's not here because he got a boo boo on his shoulder and he ah, has to go. He has to go you. sleep, sleep for a couple of days. Okay, he's gonna get that perfect numb. Yeah, perfect numb. He's yep. got it now. We oh. Billy squints oh, yeah. is Billy closed eyes for sure. So uh-huh. we thought, what what better way of a tribute and a fuck you to. Uh, Rank or discuss? We actually have. We still haven't really come up with what we're gonna do here. I think but it's just a round round table discussion. Round table discussion about Bill's favorite uh, actor of all time. We've done favorite movies before, sports movies before, and they all for Bill. They all revolve around this one man, this one actor, and maybe rightfully so. I also do like him, but Bill's obsession with him is a little bit sick. Uh, and, and this man that we're going to be discussing tonight on the Simple Mind Social Hour is Kevin Costner's greatest hits. Mm-hmm. Uh, this should be fun, Raymond. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I was definitely singing the bodyguard very loud. Taking those high notes, taking a piss. The dog was looking at me like I was an idiot. Hold on, give me. I'll give you whatever you need. No okay. worries, baby. There we go. Um, okay, I have. Um, I have the list. So I, I today has been. We discussed this on the Friday show. Today has been a day where I have been engulfing in the Billy Bad words way of think and acting i'm a That's little bit a unprepared uh i was late to the first show so you know i'm keeping you on your toes the way the queen would however i don't i don't feel good about it and i also just don't feel prepared but that being said in between the break here i have jotted down 
um, some Kevin Costner movies. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I have, I have s- four. I have... <laughs> okay. Okay. So the guy that came up with the topic and wanted to discuss it. I don't like Kevin Costner. I don't think he makes good movies. Oh, my God. Your taste in in movies and shows is is not it's beyond simple minds it just sucks these four movies i think are very good you so just I, have bad taste and shit you suck you're terrible thank you. 16 thank you. right well 16. i mean there's more but these are like four of my like i'll watch this over again i can watch these movies like okay like, so now we're getting in the in the, the movie definition of what makes a good movie do you watch it over again or is it a good movie here's here's one thing about kevin costner they're all good to watch over again all of them well minus maybe a couple because they're long but Ooh, I mostly, think I know all you're talking about. mostly all of them are okay all right fine producer ray in your four fucking movies how do you want to start more. this how sh- how should we go about this do you want to rank do you just want to talk about it i well, had the idea do? that we should talk about what bill would like because i, and thought I already told be- you no bill likes go ahead bill likes all of them <laughs> bill likes every <laughs> kevin Costner movie they're so all tied for one that. they're all tied they're for not. first place it would just be t one just the whole list goes down not one is his favorite not one's his least favorite they're all his favorite yeah okay it's like Just his so you babies it's like his illegitimate I think we, babies i think we should start off by saying what our favorite kevin costner movie is and then from there just a little round table discussion we'll okay. throw out a couple more fine why don't you start so my favorite kevin costner movie is from 1987 the untouchables mm-hmm. where he plays prohibition uh it's a prohibition in chicago and he plays federal agent Elliot Ness, and he's going after Al Capone, which has Robert De Niro, Kevin Costner, obviously, and Andy Garcia, uh, Sean Connery's in it. I mean, a great cast. 1987, wish it was made later in life because obviously the 80s didn't have that cinema, cinema magic and stuff like that. I mean, think about cinematic, it now if it was made. Cinematic is, I think, the word. You went cinema and oh, cinematic, fuck, cinema magic. Hey. You could have combined them into cinematic was the word you were looking well, for. Well, you know when you go to cinemagic and they play that song? I just didn't, well, I didn't know if that was going to be the right phrase to use there. But anyways, I don't know. You catch me at an old movie, like a gangster kind of movie, and based on a true story kind of deal, sign me up all day. I'll watch that over and over again. The Untouchables, one of my favorite Kevin Costner movies of all time. Okay. Um, I'm going through it right now as we speak. And I got to tell you, that lands at number nine. That lands at okay. number nine for me. Now, number one is going to be disputed for me, but there's a lot of nostalgia in this one. Okay. Um, and I, you know, it's not the nostalgia that a lot of people think I'm going to go for. There's, there's one of these movies that's more of a cult classic that does land. Uh, let's see where it lands. It lands in my top five that I think, uh, Billy, Billy Kevin Costner fan would agree with, but let me give you my number one. This is from my childhood that I, uh, watched repeatedly, had it on VHS, wore the tape out, bought another one and now have it on DVD. The 1991 film. Co-starring Morgan Freeman, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves is my favorite Kevin Costner movie of all time. I watch it several times a year. Also, another ultra sonic song comes from that movie. Oh, nice. Brian Adams. Oh, yeah. Brian Adams. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. I used, Man. I used... So maybe that's why Bill likes all Kevin Costner movies because the soundtracks. Hmm. How's it go? Don't help it. It's not what I'm dying for. Oh, yeah. I for oh, you. For you. I die for you. What do I have for you? You know it's true. Everything, Everything I, I do. I do. I do for you. Oh man! Wow! If Buffalo Forty ever needs a fucking backup vocalist, <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> I'm on vacation for the next week. I'm yeah. available. What I need right now is a fluffer because I am hard as fuck <laughs> after that song. Um. All right. Well, where do we go from here, Ray? <laughs> oh. Uh... <laughs> you want me to list off some? Because I'm clearly more of the Kevin Costner. Oh fan no, no, here. I got another no, one. Actually, another I want to. 
I would like to hear your four picks, and then maybe I'll take it over from there. 1991, Oliver Stone movie. One of these movies that you have to watch. It's a three-hour-long movie, but boy. Conspiracy theories, assassinations, presidents. Yes, please. JFK, one of my top two favorite Kevin Costner movies of all time. This is the one that lands in the a little bit long category for me. Yeah, it's a, it's a long movie. You can't you can't be like I can watch that again. No, you have to be like in the right frame of mind to yeah. watch this. You have to you have to be watching like UFO conspiracy theory shit and be like, you know what? I'm gonna watch a fucking I'm gonna watch a banger right now. JFK is one of those. Um. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I maybe I'm in the, in the minority here. I don't. I don't actually, I get the significance of it. And I think that it has the popularity because of the popularity that goes along with the JFK conspiracy. Oh yeah. The movie itself. I just, I don't know if I'm an Oliver Stone guy. I, I, Uh, I understand what he is, but as a, as a director, but I think a lot of his movies just don't end up doing it for me for whatever reason. I'm sure there's a lot of, uh, it's not like Robin hood. I get it. It's not, it's no Prince of Thieves. It's no. just a Sean Connery, another Sean Connery appearance. Oh, another Sean Connery. Uh, Didn't Mr. think of that. Yeah. Kevin Costner there. So, yeah. and also the guy that just died a year or so ago that was in Harry Potter and a bunch of other things that played the uh, Gandalf Sher- the Gray? Sure. That guy? Nottingham. Nope. Shut up, Ray. Um, so, okay. Uh, was he I the want- same guy? Gandalf the Gray and the fucking. Uh- no, that was the other one with the beard. I don't know. I'm not Uh-oh. a Harry Potter guy. I don't remember. Gryffindor? No. Uh, uh- no, nope. Professor Dumbledore. 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 There it is. Nice. But aren't they, wasn't Dumbledore and fucking uh, the guy from Lord of the Rings the same guy? Uh, the same actor? I think they look the same. I don't think. I don't. You gotta think... call it Bill. It's a superhero movie, probably. Yeah, right? There's some crossover there. I don't know if they did. Yeah. Either way, I would imagine Gandalf would kick the shit out of Dumbledore. Yeah. And no. magic stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's right there behind you. Yes, Philly Graybeard. The whole thing, my fucking stupid video and uh, the light that goes on, it automatically adjusts. So this slideshow. Oh, of, that's why it does it. This slideshow of choose your character behind me is really screwing up the lighting. But you know what? This is a podcast, so that doesn't matter, Ray. Nope. Uh, so you uh, want to you go ahead one? with. Yeah, keep on keep on going here. Uh, so this came out in 1999 and in 1999, my parents had a black box. So we had free HBO. And this nice. movie was on all summer long. It's called For the Love of the Game. Ooh. Ooh. Kevin Costner Ooh. plays a Detroit Tigers pitcher. And basically, it's his. it almost reminds me of like a Roger Clemens. He was an asshole kind of guy, asshole pitcher. He's going, he's p- pitching his last game. He's having a little problem with the owner. Decides this is going to be it. He's hanging it up. And it goes through his whole life from inning one to nine till he pitches the perfect game and you learn about his love life how his wife left him and how he's a piece of shit and how they met and blah 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 but it's one of those games where you just watch it's like jerry Maguire. yeah it's a baseball sports movie but it's like a true love story in between it truly Beautiful. is and uh yeah Beautiful. it's a it's Beautiful. a great movie it's a really nice tnt classic like when yeah. it, when when it pops on tv on a sunday you know it, it's not of the ilk of um uh forrest gump but it's in oh, that type of department. There's no comedy in this. There's no comedy in this. Like Forrest Gump <laughs> has comedy. Come on now. Just say when it's on, you like to watch it. When it's on, you like yeah. to watch it. Yeah. Um, that one, just to give you a spoiler, ranks number eleven for me I, in my quick in my quick on the spot ranking. So. Well, here we go. I don't even think you're gonna have this movie in your top nineteen. Would you have twenty? Sixteen? Sixteen? I don't know. All right. Uh, this came, This is one of more of his recent movies. Came out five years ago. McFarlane, USA. I don't know if you've ever seen this. Nope, never seen it. All right, so he. Uh, <clears throat> it's about the racers, right? It's about the race team that, that cross country coaches. team. Yeah, but it's based on a true story. Again, he he was a football this is your coach. Affiliation because you were in track in high school and you thought you ran fast, and now you don't run fast anymore. So you like the idea of Kevin Costner no. uh, teaching you how to run fast again. No, not at all. But he, basically, he was a high school coach, got fired, had a little problem with the uh, school, moves his family to uh, Southern California. There's where he becomes an assistant football coach, but ultimately becomes a cross country because he helps these uh, young youth that are troubled and has one of the best cross country teams of all time. Are they um, youth troubled of the minority descent? Mm-hmm. There yes. You go. He was also in a bunch of these. So these these uh, newer movies for Kevin Costner that he is he's not the true lead in, but I think a lot of them are good. Hidden Figures. If you've never seen that movie, 
Is that Absolutely. the one with the African American women that uh, do uh, NASA stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Phenomenal, phenomenal yeah. movie. But he's not the lead, so I couldn't really put it on there. Um, Molly's Game with uh, what's that chick's name? The redhead there. That she's. She, oh. Um, she was in. Uh, I know who you're talking about. She runs like a gambling ring. And that's yeah. based on a true story. She was an Olympic athlete that broke her leg, or whatever, and then got in trouble with the Russian mob running gambling. That's in a fucking awesome movie. The Highway Men with Woody Harrelson is a slower but really cool movie. That was a Netflix um, movie, right? Am that I was right? a Netflix movie. Yeah, that was a good movie. Um, so he's co- yeah, he's been a part of like these um, these movies that as he gets older in his career here in the last like ten years or so that are really good. He's just not the main lead like they did in the 90s that yeah. it's just hard to get away from no yeah. so i get that i get that i i will i will give mcfarland a shot next time i see it black or white also is not one i've seen but i also heard is really really good and deals with the What's race relations about? it's uh he is like a father figure to an african-american girl in some kind of conflicting gotcha. thing i also believe that it's based on a true story but uh, don't quote me on that um so that that's that's where we're on that. That's where McFarland lands in his career. So I don't hate you for it. You got one more for us, Raymond? Nope. That's it. That's oh yeah, four. you said four. You said four. Simple minds. I, Simple I minds. give you four. McFarland. That one didn't land on my list. Okay. Uh, let's see where we where we left off. Oh oh right. You're a fucking idiot. Um, number two, number one on my list, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Number two on my list, you didn't mention this one. It was ridiculous. Co-starring Susan Sarandon, 1988. Bull Durham. Bull Durham. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? We talked me? about this during the sports movies. I've never even seen it. Oh, my God. Meat. Come on, meat. Oh is, it, is it better God. than uh, Rookie of the, the Year? Show? Yes. Bull Durham mm. is one of the best sports movies of all time. You piece of shit. Oh, hey, I'm on vacation. God, listen, keep... listen. I'm I'm on vacation. I'm gonna quay all these. I'm gonna fucking watch them this week. Did you say quay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? You, you of all people who <laughs> hate Bill uh, to to the to the degree that no one else in the world hates Bill, you need him <laughs> on this show. You cannot be allowed to talk as much as you talk because your stupidity fucking seeps through. Is it not the, Quay? It's Q. It's Q. <laughs> it's Q U E. You idiot. It's Quaid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in the quay. <laughs> oh my god! It's the quay. <laughs> Holy I shit! I sounded it out. I sounded it out every time. Fuck! All right, my bad. You didn't even sound it out. Cra- that's that <laughs> quay. That's that quay. Qua- qua- that's that French Canadian coming out in you. The qua, the, yeah. qua, qua, the qua. Holy fuck, the quay. You're welcome. Wow. Okay. <coughs> oh my god. All right. Well, I, I don't even know how to. I, I. We should just end it. We should just end the show. And I... <laughs> What's number three for you, Richard? Okay, number three for me. We're gonna, there's going to be uh, two more sports movies right here in a row. <laughs> number oh, three, dreams. Ten Cup oh, lands ten at cup. number three for me. Rene Russo, Cheech, excellent. If it's on, you watch it. Not too, you don't have to get too invested. It's comedy. There's drama. There's sports. There's good acting. Excellent movie. Ten Cups, awesome. Number four, Feel the Dreams, absolute classic. James Earl Jones. Baseball, if you're a baseball fan, you love it. You got some sci-fi going in there with the ghost shit. You got the Black Sox from Chicago. Uh, not to feel the dreams on the on the list is just stupid. Number five, here's a cult classic. Everybody should love this movie if you like Kevin Costner. Waterworld, $200 million spent on this. I think they made nothing. Six <laughs> dollars. <laughs> but it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. I I I didn't have time because I forget the name of the uh, the of the main um, of the main bad guy. 
the actor's name it was a very famous actor. Oh, he was he was in Dennis, Speed. Uh, oh, uh, is it O'Leary? Is it a oh, no? It's Dennis Hopper. Yeah. Hopper, yes. It's Dennis Hopper who yeah. was in uh, Speed. Easy, Easy Rider. Yeah, Speed for our generation. Easy Rider for what he's really known for. Bill's Bill's generation. Yeah, Bill's generation knows him for Easy Rider. Dennis Hopper. Yeah. Uh, Waterworld is just you. Uh, it has to land on the list. That's the cult classic. Number six. This is a wild card. You need a wild card in all of these things. This one's one of mine. And I don't know if this is another nostalgia thing because I think I walked watched this with my dad once. But this movie is from 1993. It's called A Perfect World. Kevin Costner is a bank robber who ends up kidnapping a little boy who is like maybe five or six and they be and he befriends them and then uh, Kevin Costner dies at the end. Spoiler alert. It's just a it's just well, a good I character. I don't have to watch that one now. So you don't have to quay that one, right? <laughs> oh, that's off the quay list. Drop that off the fucking quay. <laughs> you queer. <laughs> Damn, it's 855. 855. Okay. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. Put it on the <laughs> What a fucking idiot. Uh, okay, we got to bring in the Oscar nomination here at number seven, Dances with Wolves. This is like once every five or ten years for me. Awesome. I mean, yeah. um, unbelievable. You have to call this one a film because that's what it is. It's not a movie. It's a film. You know, yeah. it, it's it's artistic. You have to sit down and appreciate it. Uh, it's like but, Leonardo DiCaprio's Revenant. Have you seen the Revenant? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just like that. That's how I think. Yeah, I think it's a little bit like that one's got some more action even like yeah. there's there are parts of Dances with Wolves where you're just like, I'm just watching a guy in a field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never thought of it like that. But yeah. yeah. And then he bangs an Indian. And uh, people get angry. So Can you say that? Does that other beep? 856. Uh, yeah, I, I, the, I think I'm pretty sure the owner of Cleveland gave us the 2021 to say Indians. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Bingo, <laughs> bingo. Uh, Dances with Wolves ends in number seven. Number eight. And I... The Bodyguard. <laughs> Whitney. Yep. That's a good one. Classic. Classic. Oh, Absolute yeah. classic. Uh, let's keep moving on. Nine, number nine, I told you the Untouchables land in that one. You no. you were spot on for as bad as you are at these movie things. You were spot on in the analysis that um, the the era in which that movie was made hurt it. Oh yeah, if it was made nowadays, the thing would be a fucking block I mean, blockbuster hit. Robert De Niro as Al uh, Al Capone, Sean Connery, <laughs> Kevin Costner, like that's a blockbuster, and they just filmed it like it was a high school play. It's really weird and and weird weird to watch, but uh, it should have been better than that. So that's yeah. why it lands so far down. Number ten. Here's a good one. Here's a good. Maybe this is another cult one. The Postman. Nineteen ninety-seven. Apocalyptic film. Um, shit, I forget who the bad guy is in that one. Bill something. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> He's always a bad guy. Billy bad words. The postman. We don't have to get too far into it. Number eleven for the love of the game. Great movie. Great, great movie. Great movie. Really great movie. Good yeah. baseball movie. Uh, good love story. Cuts his hand out there uh, doing doing man's Cutting some work. Wood. Yeah. In the cold winter. Yeah. This then uh, you know, pitching the perfect game. Finally realize he's pushed his true love away and uh, goes and finds her. That, everyone likes a good love story. That's one. That's one for for us tough guys, Ray, to watch alone. You know, yeah, so you get a good cry. It's issues. You feel you know. like we need to get some emotions out. We can without yeah. anybody judging us. Here's yeah. one. Here's one for my. Uh, <clears throat> now, um, anyone that follows me understands who I. I like. I like uh, some southern western stuff. That's my kind of my music taste. Uh, I like a good western. Uh, Open range, in 2003 with Robert Duvall. Uh, quick question for you. Yep. Ja Rule is a southern comfort type of music. Um, well, I don't tend to refer to my, to my, my picks of music from 1999 to 2005 in that those era. Are the, those are the golden years. Anybody, anybody that, um, whatever four or five year stretch that you went through <laughs> high school, you should not be responsible for the type of music that you listen to. 
bullshit but belly like, all day, baby. Come on. From like senior year high school down to like seventh or eighth grade. You should not have to uh, account for that type of music because you were just forced to listen to pop culture music that everybody around you was listening to. And 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 because of that, because of the nostalgia, I love it. I love Ja Rule yeah. and Nelly and DMX. Who does not? And who does not? Everybody else who came out in that era. Yeah. But my soul like southern rock and roll from the 70s oh, so i'm sorry sorry so say that save that for what you will open range falls in that uh number 13 this is from 2006 which is pretty pretty late in the uh resume of old mr costner yes uh this one is also a, a heart stringer got some action it's got a good story behind it it co-stars the very cute Ashton Kutcher, The Guardian. Ah, uh, yes. They are Alaskan Coast Guard uh, dive divemen, and they they rescue. Does one of them die? Kevin Costner dies. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if it was Ashton Kutcher or not. Or does he? Or does he live forever? He always lives forever. Spoiler alert. Uh, you want me to keep going? What else do I got? Oh, I got two more. I'm not- I'm wondering when this one movie is going to fall on your list. So, yes. Keep oh, going. okay. Maybe it won't because I only have two more. Here's no. number 14. 3,000 Miles to Graceland. To Graceland. Great movie. Great movie. Great Kurt movie. Russell. Pretend uh, to be Elvis impersonators and robbing people. Yeah. Yeah. Sign me up. Sign me up. Shooting the shit out of people. All right. 50, 15. Now, I think this was land at the top of Bill's list just based on his credentials as a movie lover and sports lover. Uh, Kevin Costner lover 2014 hit draft day. All right. See, everyone laughs, but I don't think that was such a bad movie. Plot wise, it would never fucking happen. I mean, what happens in the draft room that never could happen, but it's not a bad movie. Hopefully. Hey, Ray, and Jennifer Gardner's in it. She's not bad to look at. Yeah, she's good. How many how many people went to Justin Fields birthday party? That's what we None. need to ask, Bill. None. That's how many we people went to Bill's Belichick? first birthday? None. None. Nobody goes to the grass stuffy that he got for his birthday. Nobody goes to Bill's birthday now unless there's hazmat suits because AIDS is a real thing still. Is that a beep? Is that a beep? I don't know. It's not the 90s. I think you could make fun of AIDS. Yeah, because you can cure it with money. Yeah. <laughs> if you, I, any of our uh, listeners have AIDS, we respect you and wish yeah, you we well. respect we uh, we respectfully um, ask you to come on and talk intelligently about it. Uh, did I did I miss one that you had on there that no. I, that you thought was draft coming? day was the one draft day was the one. Everyone laughs and says it's a terrible movie. Yeah, the premise behind it could never happen. It's a terrible idea, but the movie's pretty good. I like I like draft day. It's not bad. Here's a couple ones that didn't get there. Wyatt Earp. That's a good Western. No. Shut up. Um, play it to the bone. He's in play it to the bone with um, what's his name with uh, Antonio Banderas and Woody Harrelson. Oh, is that the boxing movie? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, rumor has it. A little chick flick there with Jennifer Aniston. Rumor has it. Uh, I think that's it. Mr. Brooks with Halle Berry. That was a kind of a thriller um, horror movie. Pretty good. He's in the su- he's in the superhero Ooh. movies. Bill knows oh, this. He's Bill in the Superman. He's Superman's one. dad. So yes, yes. Take yes. that to the bank. Uh, there you go. And his newest. Anyone interested in his, <laughs> his newest release? It's called Let yes, Him please. Go out of 2020 but here's one that everyone should get into which is a little bit harder to it's called yellowstone which is the the show on uh bill just got into it it's very yeah it's 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 pretty good and um it's exciting and then this it- like this tv miniseries hatfields and mccoys again Ooh, that was good that, yeah yeah, yeah. And anybody that likes the history of that stuff will love that Hatfield two families hate each other it's fucking awesome yeah so and also, Kevin McCost- Kevin Costner uh, is in a band that is good. It's a southern country western band. And what? He... Yeah, man. Uh, shit. Uh, talk for a second. I'll find it. I have never heard that he was in a band. This is what instrument does he play? If you say uh, he's lead vocals, I'll be very shocked. I think he's harmonica. That and makes sense. He's good looking in harmonica. Did you say good looking with a harmonica? Yeah, he 
Uh, it's called Kevin Costner and Modern West, an American country rock band founded and fronted by actor Kevin Costner. He began worldwide tour in 2007. Uh, so I think he plays guitar. I think he might sing a little bit, and I also think he plays the harmonica. He's a he's a renaissance man, you know. I can understand why Bill loves him so much. I can understand it. It's just a little bit funny that Bill does love him so much. Can't hear you, Ryan. And he denies it. That's the funny thing. Yeah, it's also uh, yeah. There's the denial there makes it interesting. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Whatever. Well, this has been the Simple Mind Social Hour. Uh, Kevin Costner's greatest hits in honor of Billy Badwing um, not being able to join us. We hope that he uh, agrees with or at least appreciates our list. Raise he won't listen four, to this. mine of 16. <clears throat> he will not listen to this. We'll just tell him um, complete lies about what went down, and he'll get angry about it. And that'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Here's the bet for the century. Will Bill be there for Monday? Ooh. It means it will you be here on Sunday. Yeah. <clears throat> Good question. Thank you. And if he is here, what percentage of his eyeballs will we see? Uh, 45. 45. Mm-hmm. That's good. I think it'll be, it'll be a 45 degree. Yeah, I know what you mean. What? Are they both going to be the same, though? Or one eye like this? No, one's always a little bit more. I feel like yeah, the left is always a little bit more um, squinted. Yeah. I think his left foot's more dink toed than the right foot, anyway. <laughs> dink toed. Is that also called pigeon toed? I think I know what it's called. Oh, pigeon. maybe. I think I know what maybe, it's called. Maybe. Pigeon toed. Uh, I've always been called dink toed. They call it dink toed. Mm.